Okay, here's a long shot of the listening room. Um, all the equipment is at one end, and uh, what you're looking at here is where I sit. My wife jokingly calls it the throne. It's a couch we've owned since we were new, and uh, it's gotten a little sunken, so I tend to uh, set the pillows up so that so that my listening height is correct. And I mean, the, the thing is worn out. It's an ancient couch, but it's very comfortable and fits the room nicely. Digging into what's at the front of the room here, one of the first things you notice is my uh, MagnaPan MG 1.6 speakers. And these are actually a fairly new addition to my system. I've had MagnaPlaners in the past, but I sold them when I converted uh, this setup to home theater about 10 years ago. And uh, as I've said in other videos, I missed the Maggies ever since, and so I finally invested in some new ones. And uh, I still use them for home theater. I just have to move them in order to make use of them for that. So uh, those are, are there because I've been doing more music listening this year and uh, really just wanted the sound of these things. Uh, there's nothing that compares, in my opinion, to uh, MagnaPans for music listening. I got these on Craigslist for a pretty good price. Not an awesome price. And, and they were in really incredible shape. And... Uh, if you aren't familiar with magna planers, that's one of the cool things about them. They're about two inches thick, and uh, they're based on a mylar diaphragm. You might be able to see there the uh, metal that's applied to the mylar and the magnets that drive the mylar and make it vibrate and make the sound. Uh, they make a bunch of these. Mine are roughly in the middle of the lineup in the sweet spot, I would say. So moving on, we have... Um, the electronics set up here. Pretty much the left hand side is home theater although there's a wrinkle there and the right hand side is my two channel stereo system. And I have videos on this. I actually went two channel um, earlier this year. I got tired of plugging my stereo stuff for music listening into my home theater receiver and for lack of a better word programming it and just decided to go with a two-channel system for music listening. I had the rack space, so uh, that's what I did. Uh, the wrinkle is, uh, on the left-hand side here, the top two shelves are um, recording equipment. So uh, uh, that's, that's all hooked into, or could be, I don't have it hooked up right now, could be hooked into this two-channel system here. So let's talk about the two-channel stuff for a moment. I have other videos that go into more detail, but uh, I'll talk a bit about it here just so you don't have to hunt stuff up. I've been working on this system uh, all this year, and it's gotten pretty well settled by now, thankfully. Uh, on top is a Project Experience turntable. It's Experience Classic. That's an olive wood finish. And uh, this replaced a 30-year-old... Uh, roughly 30 year old B&O that I used to have. It's a really nice turntable and I've tweaked it a little bit. I have it on a butcher block with sorbethane feet and all the typical audiophile tweaks. I don't know if it makes a difference. It's just trick. <laughs> so uh, if you watch my other videos you'll know that that I, I don't BS a lot about audio stuff. I, I think it's kind of funny. Um, I enjoy doing it but I don't take it too seriously. Uh, below that is a Jolita CD player, and on top of it is a little uh, shit um, headphone amp, which is uh, actually a pretty nice little getup. Uh, beneath that, uh, the remaining equipment is Conrad Johnson two-channel stereo equipment. There's a uh, PV14 preamp, a uh, EF1 phono preamp, and underneath that, a Premier 11A power amp that puts out about 70 watts per channel. That's probably about the minimum you need to run the magna planers to any real volume levels. Uh, so I, I did a series of upgrades to get to that amp and uh, maybe someday I'll do mono blocks. Over to the side there you see some stacks of vinyl. That's my in current rotation stuff. Moving away from that rack uh, as I said, the top couple of shelves over here are recording gear. I've got a Pioneer RT-707 reel-to-reel on top. 
and it's probably hard to see in the video because they're black, but a uh, Nakamichi BX300 three-head cassette deck and a Sony mini disc recorder, believe it or not. And then under that is um, just cheap Sony uh, Blu-ray player and uh, I still have a Hi-Fi stereo uh, VHS deck just because what else am I going to do with it? And the bottom item is a Denon um, home theater receiver. It's a, I think it's a 3808 from about 10 years ago. Speaking of home theater, um, if I turn around here, you'll see uh, I have a front projection system. And there's the pull-down screen for the front projection system. So uh, this is a home theater room as well. I'll show you the speakers in a moment. Over here to the side, you'll notice another little tube amp over here. That's the Conrad Johnson power amp that I was using before I got the Maggie's and uh, I don't think it has enough oomph to drive the Maggie so it's um, being sold and sitting over to the side for the moment. So uh, looking at the back of the room again we have a view onto the listening position there with the uh, listening throne and to the sides, you'll see a pair of PSB surround speakers on the walls. Uh, I used to have PSB front speakers. You'll see those in other videos if you look around. And on the back, I've got some Infinity rear speakers. Those are Primus something or others. Uh, nice little speakers that Crutchfield threw in when I bought my uh, receiver and uh, DVD player years and years and years ago. Uh, here you see a collection of mini disc stuff. Um, and stacks of CDs and uh, a little audio tweaker note. I've got the CDs sort of randomly jiggled around to give a little bit of diffusion back here. Again, I don't know if it makes a difference. It's just fun. Um, in these drawers are CDs. Lots of CDs. I'm really out of space in these drawers. And then we've got lots and lots of CDs upstairs as well in the entertainment center upstairs. All these drawers are full of CDs. And then, as I said, I do a lot of iTunes music stuff. Um, oh, and how could I forget this? This is sort of the backup stacks of vinyl. This is second um, to be listened to or, you know, my less common go-to pile. And behind that is vinyl that uh, you know I've brought forward from the 80s and 90s um, kind of two little stacks this stuff down at the bottom is pretty much alternative rock and that little tiny patch there is jazz or um, new age stuff from that period and up front is stuff I've either pulled off the shelves or bought and stacked here and uh, I'll rotate it to the front now and then and over on this side is my wife's vinyl on the bottom shelf and I use that occasionally uh, just because she has some slightly different stuff than I do. And, and she's turned me on to a couple of things um, from her pile there. Well, that's kind of nice. And then another little random pile of vinyl here. So I'm not very organized. Uh, that's mainly because I just don't have that much vinyl. And I listen to a fairly small selection at any point in time. So... Uh, I also have this is kind of the, the CD stack up here. Um, it's kind of like the vinyl stack that's over here. Uh, I have a stack of CDs that I'm working on or listening to or have been too lazy to put back into place. Uh, backing off, a couple more things. You probably noticed these, uh, these deals here. These are uh, Acoustamac acoustic treatment panels. The ones in the corners are bass traps. And the one on the wall is just a sort of a wideband uh, panel. And on the sides, in a place that doesn't really make sense anymore, these were my early reflection treatments for when I had the PSBs, and the, and the PSBs sat more tucked back into the corner a little bit. So the uh, treatment made more sense at that point. Let me see if I can get an angle on this without falling over. Uh, I just haven't moved them i got to find a better place for them, uh, given the magna planers being put into position. Uh, that'll come with time. So, uh, oh, and, and then here in, in the center is, the, is a PSB center speaker. And uh, then 
And in the back of the room, with some folded laundry on it, is my SVS uh, sub, which is amazing. It's, it is really amazing. It's about the size of a dorm room fridge. I don't know if you can tell. Um, that is about it for the listening room. Um, oh, and you see these speaker wires coiled up here in the corners. That's because I use um, the magnaplaners both for audio listening and then I also have to switch over if we want to uh, watch the home theater. And so those leads go to the home theater's outputs. So, there you have it. That's my uh, vinyl community introduction and my uh, listening room and gear overview. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.